Hello everyone, Eric from Blade Barn here. Today I want to do a quick video on two ZTs that are totally killer knives that people don't seem to talk about much. So today we're going to show you the 0470 Dmitry Sinkovich collab from ZT. Super sweet knife. And of course the famous hinderer designed 0393 GLCF. All right, well, first off, let's start with the ZT. So it's, again, it's the 0393 GLCF. And that stands for glow-in-the-dark carbon fiber, but I've replaced the scales on this with the marbleized sharp dressed knives aftermarket scales. And if you check out on the website, I also have one with the MXG deep carry clip, but this one I just put the standard clip on, which I happen to prefer. I like it being a little bit lower profile and not being super deep carry where the loop on the clip goes, you know, it's actually, it's more than just deep carry. It's like 102% deep carry on that MXG clip. Uh, but I digress. The standard clip, it gives you just more knife to grab when it's in your pocket. You know, you have this maybe, you know, eight tenths of an inch sticking out. So it's just more to purchase. So knife specs here, overall length, just under eight and a half. Blade, I believe was three and a half. Yep. So I've got XL gloves for hands. Sometimes I wear two XL for a motorcycle. And I think this thing is perfect. This knife is better than it should be in every regard. <laughs> and the value proposition of it is really, really good. So if you're considering looking at a hinderer, like an XM18, which I personally, I really do like the hinderers. Uh, don't have any right now on the site. Had maybe about a dozen of them over the past two, three months. Extremely hard to get. But this thing is, I want to say it's 100% of the quality at basically like a $300 less kind of price point. So if you've always wanted a hinderer and you want a genuine hard use knife, this thing is basically, it's impossible to beat. I don't know why people aren't talking about this one more. Everybody's so laser focused on the 0562, which of course is a fantastic knife. And basically, uh, you know, that's, that's ZT's number one seller is that 0562. But this thing, it's got thick, thick blade, you know, harpoon, everything about it is, uh, you know, it, it just screams hard work. The finish on it, it's got that hinderer working finish. So you can, you know, put this at a construction site and you can beat the crap out of the knife continuously and it's gonna hide basically all your scratches. So years from now, you know, it doesn't really matter how you treat it, it's still gonna look, you know, darn near this good. And also the aligners on it for the titanium, every single edge of this is beveled. So on the outside of it, it's super smooth, no hot spots. And on the inside lip here, I'm not sure if we can get the camera to work, but it's not, you know, a sharp edge where you can pick your fingernail if you're running across it all. It's got this tiny little radius on it and it is, it feels great, you know, doing this while you're pressing in hard or a bunch of other knives, it's like, ah, you know, it's, you know, you can basically trim your fingernail going like this on them. Nope, not this thing. It is smooth all the way through. Underside, you know, you name it, there's not a single hot spot on this knife. And like I said, I've got big hands, but you know, they're pretty, well, they're not skinny, but they're, you know, normal-ish. So the way it just holds in my hand, I got my ring finger. It just, it's literally designed like for, you know, just really sticking stuff, trying to cut a rope for this normal kind of grip. You know, if you flip it down and you're doing any kind of knife fighting or something, this would be a great. Uh, you could probably, if you had two of these, put, you know, the, the points down and just do push-ups off it and your hand's not going anywhere. The blade's not going to slide, you know, in this way. 
So you can get such, I haven't held a knife where I've had a better purchase on it without having to think about, you know, if I just pick it up, flip it, and just grab it real quick, no matter where I grab it, if it's at an angle or anything, it's just, it becomes part of your body. So rambling there a little bit, but I think you catch my drift and my excitement about it. Um, I think these scales really do kick it up into high gear. Uh, this really dresses it up over the standard scales, which if you buy one from me and it already has these or maybe some of the other scales that we're gonna start up pre-upgrading knives with, it's always gonna come with the stock ones. So, or you can just buy the stock one from us as well. But this one, uh, so it's a liner walk and you can see for the overlap on it, it's got a decent amount, but you'll never need to send it back in. You know, some knives will come where it's like a 50% lock up, you know, where it comes the lock bar, you know, 50% of the blade stock. And then if you use the knife hard over, you know, years, it'll end up working its way all the way over. And then you got to send it in for some replacements. Now this has a nice early lock up and it's super smooth. This thing has so much tension on this lock bar. If you were to just take it apart and relieve some of that preload on it, this thing would be so buttery, drop shut smooth. It's not even funny because it's, you know, it's a brand spanking new knife here. Been flipped maybe like 40 times by me and it's almost going down by itself with a ton of lock bar tension. So thumb tab, you know, if you're not a, a flipper guy, the thumb tab also works really easy. I'm not a, uh, a thumb flipper guy, but you just can't not fire this thing perfectly no matter how you do it. I mean, do it with your ring finger or whatever. So that's the 0393. It only comes in one steel flavor and that's 20 CV, which is pretty much industry standard for ZT's high-end line of knives. It's hard to beat, you know, unless you, if you know you want something with a different, you know, kind of steel property, then you know. But if you don't know, you know, then the 20 CV will work for basically anything you want it to do and you'll be super happy with it. But yep, thin knife, practical, and it just looks totally badass. So let's get her on the scale here. That is zeroed out. And it is 143 and a half grams. For reference, the 0562 is I think 155 to 157. So this is 10 grams lighter. Uh, the blade profile, I think is a hair thicker. I'll put the specs in the, uh, if you just check out the website, you'll be able to see them on there. But yeah, if you want an overbuilt hinderer and you don't want to spend 600 bucks or 700 bucks on it, you need this thing. This is the knife to get to round out your ZT collection. And like I said, I can't believe nobody's talking about these things. Unsung hero, a ZT, that is for sure. And here we've got the 470 Sinkovich design. So that's Dmitry Sinkovich. That's why this has that Russian kind of, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, Cheburkov or Shiro kind of look to it. And it's got that same kind of character. Real early lock up on it, ton of lock bar tension. So even though this thing's brand new, it's still, I, I can tell it wants to be so smooth. And you sit there, flip it, watching some Netflix, or just maybe get some, some extra lube in there. It'll probably drop shut perfectly for you. But the blade, the grinds on this thing, not really coming through on, well, a little bit on camera, but it is gorgeous in person. Twenty CV, and again, all the nice milling on this titanium. Everywhere is radiused. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, there are no sharp spots or hot spots anywhere on it. Like I said, doing the fingernail test, there are no edges anywhere on this knife. Super nice. 
and you can pull back or press down for the flip style. So pull back versus the press in. And we'll get you a size reference. It's a little bit smaller, but it feels, there you go, seven and two thirds, maybe seven and three quarters. And same three and a half for the blade length. Super, super cool knife. And even easy to do lefty. But yeah, there's two cool knives for you today that people don't talk about much. Please check out our website. And more importantly, please subscribe and check out the shorts tab. As of time of filming this video, we've got at least 170 short videos showing and demonstrating most of the knives that we sell. So if you got any questions, you'll see the number on every one of the shorts videos. Feel free to shoot a text on over. We'll make you a deal and get you sorted out. If you're looking for a gift, we can give you some great gift advice too. All right. Thanks again, guys. Take care.